Hello and welcome to another edition of Can I Top You With Polenta and Turn You Into A Pie? Picked these up from the supermarket the other day. It's my favourite brand of fake bacon. Tastes and feels the most bacony. <laughs> And I've been trying to rack my brain what to do with it. And I thought bacon and leek, that'd be good. And then I thought, oh, leek and potato, that would be good. <laughs> and I was going to thought, I'll do a kind of pie, you know, put mash on top. And then I thought, no, I'll put polenta on top. And then I remembered I have a bag of chicken pieces in the freezer that needs to be eaten, really. So I'm going to bung them all together, make a little sauce to enrobe them all. So it will hopefully be a delicious, filling, sumptuous, unctuous, wonderful big fat pie let's get going the polenta is exactly the same as i did for the shepherd's pie so it's 300 mils of oat milk and 500 mils of water very low heat and i'm just going to start that warming through so it's ready for when i need it sprayed a tiny amount of oil into the bottom of the pan because so i'm going to brown the bacon off and then put it to the side while i do the leeks i'm going to make a kind of peppercorn sauce to coat everything in. I'm going to use pink and green peppercorns. So I'll put a teaspoon-ish, more thereabouts of each, and grind them up. And I'll tip these into 200 mils of oat milk. You can use any kind of plant milk. And I'll let the milk gently warm through and start infusing with the pepper flavor. And I'll start prepping the leeks. When you get leeks, I've already done this, but take off the outer leaf, I guess it would be. I don't know, because that's usually quite tough. So you want just the inner ones. And then just slice it into about inch pieces. Put that on a little plate. A little bit more oil for the leeks. Tiny touch of salt at this point, just to help pull some of the moisture out. I'm going to add half a tablespoon of chicken's flavour stock to the milk, the peppercorn sauce mix. And I'm going to grate in a dried shiitake mushroom. This is to give a bit of a umami, savoury kick to it because I'm out of MSG. <laughs> Keep cooking the leeks down until they get nice and soft, a bit translucent in places. I'm adding four tablespoons of plain yogurt, no sugars, no bits important, into the peppercorn mix. I'm gonna whisk this up. adding a dollop of vegan cream cheese just for a bit of extra richness and another half tablespoon or so of this stock this is going to come down to taste really so do it to whatever your preference is keep trying it adding whatever you like in there and a little drop of henderson's relish once the leeks are at this point where they're more or less completely limp and no crunchy bits left I'm going to throw in 150 grams of frozen peas. They're still frozen, it's fine. Just mix them in. Let them cook in the pan. Check the sauce flavour. Mm. I'm going to use ground up oats to thicken the, uh, the sauce. Just did it in the coffee grinder and put it through a sieve. So I'll add half a tablespoon at a time until it gets to that thickened texture that I want. So I've done one tablespoon so far. Leave that for a minute or two just to thicken up. I put the chicken pieces in the air fryer and roasted them on 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And you can see the texture inside. I put them in the air fryer just to give them a bit of extra texture because they can be a bit soft kind of a bit bland in the mouth. So we'll chuck those in. Got the 
little baby potatoes, new potatoes. You can use whatever kind you like. I did these in the instant pot for 10 minutes. It might have been a little bit too long actually. They're very soft. But they still taste amazing. These potatoes are lush. So put those in. That's not gonna be enough sauce, is it? <laughs> no, clearly not enough sauce. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add to it. So another 300 ml, two 300 mils of milk. More cream cheese, more yogurt, more stock, more Henderson's, and whisk that together. Do another tablespoon of the oats into the sauce. I'm adding in about a tablespoon of malt extract, just to give it a bit of sort of a rounded sweetness. I haven't put any seasoning in this really because the bacon is quite salty, so I'd rather nothing put the sauce in there with the bacon and then taste everything together so I'll pour the sauce in put the oven on 180 get that preheating in fact I might go to 200 yeah 200 and I'll now pour the polenta in through my hands See it thickens up instantly. Put the lid on for a couple of minutes, just let it warm through. It's on a quite a low heat. I've got it on four and then it goes up to nine. Check the seasoning. Put a bit of salt in, a bit of pepper. And 75 grams of vegan margarine. 25 grams of applewood smoked cheddar, vegan cheddar, and 75 grams of vegan parmesan. Give that a work through. Turn the heat off and put the lid on. Just let that melt and mm, be lovely. I'm transferring this into the pan. Pack it down as even as you can. Give the polenta another stir. Make sure everything's all nicely combined in there. The butter and the cheese. Oh, it smells so good. You could put this in a square pan, any kind of pan really, and let it set hard and then chop that into kind of chips. Pack them with a little bit of just dried polenta and then bake that in the oven. You've got some amazing polenta chips. I'll do that for you at some point. And then I'm going to start blobbing it on the top. Nice and smooth on top. And then to get some texture on top so we can get some nice crunchy bits, I'm going to drag a fork through it. and put this in the oven. It'll be in there for 20 minutes, half an hour. It's not to cook anything, it's just to get a crunch on top. So it's got a lovely crunchy, crackly top. Yes, I'm excited about this. This is another one that's gonna be better. It'll set up overnight, so it would be better to leave it. But it's dinner, and I don't care if it's a sloppy mess on the plate. Try and leave a <laughs> leave a piece of this out. Oh, look inside that thing. Yum! <laughs> I'm gonna tuck into that. Let's get, try and get a little bit of everything. Mm. That's divine. <laughs> mm. It's so lovely and rich. And it just fills your mouth with all kinds of different flavors that all sing together really beautifully. The applewood cheese, the smoked kind of cheese, was a cracking idea. It really helps. Mmm. It just brings everything alive. You could make this with any kind of meat substitute you like, or just do vegetables if you like. Sausages would be great, just chopped up sausages. Mmm. 
all kinds of ideas there. If you're also a fan of eating food that's served to you under a duvet of ground up corn, then hit subscribe, tap that bell icon, and let's see what else I can do.